When you're given a molecular formula to calculate IHD, you don't have the same clues that you had, let's say, if it was a structure. If you remember, we could use pi bonds or rings to figure out how many hydrogens were missing from a molecule. But when you're just given a molecular formula, let's say like this example, C4H7Cl, I have no clue if there's rings there, if there's double bonds there. I really, all I have is the atoms, okay? So for this, we're going to have to use our own rule and our own formula because that's really the only way to solve it. Now, your professor may have used a different rule in class. And in fact, most of the rules that I've seen are different from mine. The only reason I've settled on this one is because it worked for a lot of my students and they like it better. But if you have a rule that your professor taught you that you like better, please, by all means, use that one. All right. But this is the way it works. Basically, we need to calculate IHD. And the way we do that is by calculating the theoretical H's. The way we do that is by using the formula 2 1 plus 2. OK. So basically, we calculate 2 1 plus 2. Then we subtract the actual number of eight hydrogens. OK. But the thing is that for this, we don't just use hydrogens. We also take into consideration other atoms that might act as hydrogen equivalents. OK. So for example, um, when I'm calculating the number of hydrogens in a molecule, I don't just look at H. I also look at X's. Do you guys remember what X is? X would be the a halogen, and that counts as one hydrogen. For this, for this formula, I count a ha halogen and a hydrogen exactly the same. Okay. So then oxygen. What about if I see an oxygen in my compound? What do I count that as? Actually, I count that as zero. I ignore it. Okay. So whenever you see oxygen in this compound, just ignore it. That doesn't go into your equation. Then how about nitrogen? Nitrogen is a special case. Nitrogen is actually going to count as negative one hydrogen for your overall compound. So that means that I'm not just counting H's. I'm also counting all halogens and all nitrogens, and I'm ignoring the oxygens. All right. So then finally, I get that number. That number is going to go here. This is going to be number of H's total. Okay. Then I'm going to take that number and I'm going to divide it all by two, which is what I have here, and that's going to be your IHD. Okay. Now I know that sounds a little bit complicated, but once you get going with it, it actually you can actually do it pretty fast. 